Hello! I'm going to do a tutorial using epoxy in just a few minutes, but I found my epoxy looks like this, and so I thought I'd do a quick video on this first. Okay, this is when your epoxy crystallizes in the bottom of the bottle, it looks whitish and it's kind of solid. This is not a big deal, okay? So, what you need is a container, or you can do this in a sink of hot water. How hot? Just hot tap water. Don't microwave it, don't boil it. You don't want that hot, because it could melt the bottle. But you want it hotter than, say, bath water. So just run your tap on hot until it's as hot as it gets, and then partially fill a container. Then all you do is you just set the bottle down inside. And wait 10 minutes or so. You can pull it out occasionally to look at it and see if it's uh, finished. So, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes. So what I'm going to do, because there was quite a big blockage on the bottom of this. It's, it's about half the size now. I'm going to uh, give it a little agitation and then drop it back in. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, we are back here and now it's perfectly clear. All of it's been redissolved. Now I did, it's been cold here and that's why this crystallizes is when it gets cold, but it's no problem. You can warm it up. I did have to go get another batch of hot water because it, this bottle actually cooled down this, this water. So if you have to, if you stick your finger in it and it's not hot, hot water, then go get you some more. Anyway, all in all, that was a very large amount. That was, you know, a good quarter of a bottle that was crystallized. And it took about 10 or 12 minutes. And I would pull it out every once in a while and give it a little agitation, break up the chunks and make it do it faster. Anyway, uh, this is what you do if your bottle, either bottle, the either the, the hardener or the resin, uh, crystallizes. And it'll fix it right up. Alright. Now I gotta go make another video. Thanks for watching.